At an age when they were to begin schooling, they were forced to leave their houses. Many had to drop out, while others had no place left to study. The story is the same for thousands of South Sudanese children whose lives were uprooted due to civil war in the country and unending violence. Lim was no different from other ordinary South Sudanese who have borne the brunt of the conflict. But this did not deter him from utilizing what he has to bring change to the lives of others. From graduating from high school at the top of his class in South Sudan, a medical degree was his next goal until civil war broke out. As the crisis deepened, he fled to Ethiopia. He now teaches other refugee children, many of whom are from his own country. It is really good work, you know, saving us by principal of the school. But uh, really, it is a very hard work. It is very tremendous job sometimes because as a bio principal, you are in charge of all the school. Providing education for so many students is not an easy task, but not an impossible one either. Lim's passion is to equip the future of his country with weapons of progress. At just 21 years, he serves as the vice principal of a primary school at the Kule refugee camp in Ethiopia. Nothing about saving people, it really excites me. Because as much as I save people, then my community will grow up. And then I will produce more people to save other people. A recent report by UNICEF said that nearly 1.8 million children are out of school since the conflict erupted. More than 10,000 people have been killed and 2.3 million displaced since civil war broke out in December 2013. The country has some of the worst education indicators in the world, with poverty being a major factor. Data says only 1 in 10 children completes primary school and many of them land up in refugee camps. As the two warring sides in South Sudan have agreed on a peace deal, these students await a future full of hope and want to be part of efforts to build their nation. But it is heroes like Lim that are tasked to keep that hope alive.